Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 25th through the 31st. I'm just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Libra? One card for an overall energy, please. The Devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but this is tied to a situation, bound to a toxic, unhealthy situation you must break free from. So I think that you may be experiencing a struggle right now. You may have gotten yourself into something that looked really good. You know, there was some sort of instant gratification. Now you need to break free. You must break free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. This is lust, it's greed, it's temptation, it's materialism. Um, there's an addiction here, a codependency that you have been slave to. So this is a week where you may need to find your strength to break free. So I do think that is the case. You need to break free from something that, you know, isn't healthy for you. It's not healthy. So what do we have for Libra? Oh, we got four. I guess we're going to take them. What do we have for Libra? Spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. So you may be suffering. I mean, that's like the three of swords. So you may be experiencing some pain this week. May. May is very significant. You could be dealing with somebody that is born in the month of May. Or, you know... You can think back to another year, the month of May. Maybe something has happened in May or the next May, things are going to change for the better because you notice there's blossoms on this tree. So in May, things are probably going to be blossoming for you. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. You may be building a new solid foundation Ant, work, achievement, success. There will be success in whatever it is that you are building. Probably by May, you will be in a very, very good place. But I feel like you are breaking free from something. And there's heartache over this, uh, you know, freedom. You know, it's not easy to break free from something that you are tied to. You know, even if it's unhealthy and it's not comfortable, if you had some sort of deep connection to it, which I think that you probably did, it's not easy. So I think that you are breaking free from something or you need to. I mean, the devil is, you know, a toxic situation that you must find your strength to remove yourself from this situation. And it's not going to be easy. It's not. So what do we have for Libra? Oh, we got it again. We got it again. So this is accepting the truth, getting taking a new approach, seeing the truth. This is clarity. You may be receiving some sort of information or clarity this week. Um, this is the power. This is the raw truth, the whole truth, seeing the truth. Uh, maybe, a, again, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm not sure, but this is double toxic energy, double... Uh, devil energy so this isn't i mean the devil is not good news it's a it's a dark energy so all is not as it seems and i feel like maybe there's been some sort of grand illusion here but this is seeing the truth and needing to break free from somebody's chains um there's a lot of manipulation here and then a lot of control so i think you've been under somebody else's control or there's been some serious obsession uh four of cups discontent you know, sadness. So you could be dealing with somebody who has you bound, that has you tied, and there's a lot of sadness around this person. Um, there is sadness here. There definitely is. But this is seeing the truth, taking a new approach, definitely needing to break free. Jeez, uh, some four of cups. That's really... Uh, you know, I think that there's love, but there's somebody that's not seeing it. You know, they're not seeing it. They're not interested or they don't know what love is. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't know what love is. I do see sadness here, definitely. So you may be experiencing some sadness over some sort of information or some sort of truth that comes out. 
could be about a person that is very unhealthy um, or you're just realizing something. I mean, the Ace of Swords is, is clarity. It's an epiphany. It's awakening. It's a wake-up call. So I'm not sure if you get some sort of epiphany or something like that. Um, but the Four of Cups is, is sadness. I can see that it is. I can see that it's sadness. I feel like, you know, um, you're probably looking for more, you know, and maybe you're dealing with somebody that is very unhealthy and they're just not giving you uh, what you need. Hanged man. Interesting. They're all upright. So the hanged man is struggling, struggling to let go. So yeah, I think that you're going to be dealing with somebody that is having a hard time letting go. Maybe you're not interested in them or they're not interested in you. Somebody is having a very, very, very hard time letting go. They're, 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 they're tied to a situation that is not all that is looks like. I mean, the devil is ruled by the shadow. The shadow is what you see is not what you get. So I feel like you are definitely tied. I mean, tied, tied, tied. You are tied to somebody that is struggling. They have a lot of pride. They have a lot of ego. All three of these cards is ego. And it could be you. It could be somebody else. Somebody's ego is ego and pride is keeping them you know, tied to a situation, tied to control, extreme control. Here we have somebody here that is very controlling, that is obsessed. They're obsessed with proving a point. They, they want to prove something. So I, there is some sort of sadness here. Um, a new perspective is needed, but there's so much delusion. You know, there's so much delusion. I mean, the devil twice, that is delusional. So we got somebody here that is delusional, that just doesn't see. They don't see that what love is. This is all about power and control. We have a very, and pride. Somebody's pride, they're not, they can't step out of their pride. They definitely need a new perspective. A new perspective is going to be gained. But it's probably going to be gained the hard way. You know, a lesson needs to be learned with the hangman. We have somebody that uh, is learning some kind of a lesson and they're thinking about everything that has happened. I don't know, I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but somebody's doing a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking, and I think that they are over analyzing something. There's a lot of analyzing going on. They're definitely going through a, some sort of awakening, getting some sort of clarity, being coming enlightened about a toxic situation. And I think it's uneasy. I think there's a lot of uneasiness here. I do feel like, um, you know, the hangman can be can be probation. It can be parole. It can be punishment that is coming. We could have somebody that is very unhealthy that is getting some sort of punishment for not seeing the truth or not accepting the truth. And, and punishment can be pain. It can be heartache, do, suffering. This is sacrificing. Somebody is sacrificing themselves you know, hanging on to a toxic, unhealthy situation that they are obsessed over and they need to break free from it and they need a new perspective, but they just can't stop. Their pride is in the way, put it that way. Their pride, they can't let go. They can't let go. They are unwilling to budge, unwilling to let go of a toxic situation. Anyhow, change, change. It's time for a change. Things are going to change. You need to be flexible. You need to adapt. You're going to need to adapt to some sort of change this week. You may be going down a new path and it may be a little chaotic. Somebody's about to get an awakening of some sort this week. Seeing very, very clearly. So some sort of clarity is definitely, definitely coming this week about somebody that you are tied to that is toxic and unhealthy. There's clarity coming. This is coming out of confusion, coming out of illusion. Remember I said somebody's been delusional. This is seeing clearly after not seeing something. that It was so... I don't know if it was fantasy. It was so overplayed, you know? So manipulative. 
There was so much manipulation. Anyway, so there's some sort of clarity that is absolutely coming. Now, the Seven of Cups reverse is making a choice, becoming clear of the choice. So you're going to be coming clear. I think there's there's a lot of thinking going on. You're going to be coming clear as to what approach that you need to take. And you're going to, I feel like you're going to be experiencing a little bit of chaos, trying to find balance. You may be experiencing some ups and downs as something is changing because this is changing. Something is changing. Hermit, hermit next to the hangman. Now this is isolation. Somebody may be going into isolation. They may be going into a time of introspection to reflect on everything that is happening. And you may, maybe you need to. I think you're going to receive some information or some news or some so, sort of clarity that puts you in, makes, makes you feel like you need to take a time out. You may need to take a time out. Somebody may be taking a time out to reflect on whatever change is happening. I feel like there is a change. I feel like there's freedom here. And I feel like there's going within, uh, going down a new path, definitely. Uh, doing a lot of planning and uh, reflecting. You may be realizing your true identity or your identity may be changing. You know, and this is a week definitely of change. You know, enlightenment. You are definitely going through a period of enlightenment this week. It's realizing the truth about a situation. Now, the, the hermit is a Jesus consciousness. So becoming consciously aware of something that ha was based on illusion. So yeah, you're going to be, coming, be becoming consciously aware of something. And you may need to withdraw from others and reflect, spending time alone. So I do believe that you're going to be spending some time alone this week as you are reflecting on, you know, whatever this is that you're breaking free from. I think that it's been, you know, very unhealthy. I mean, that devil twice, extremely unhealthy. Could be dealing with a Virgo, could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a, a Capricorn. Um, high Priestess. Now the High Priestess is very mysterious, an inner knowing. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that is very, very spiritual, or this could be your energy. Uh, the High Priestess is a healer, very, very intuitive. Uh, very aware and there's self-awareness here so there is some sort of self-awareness i feel like you're going to be receiving some messages from somebody or messages from your intuition or from your gut i believe that you are you're going through a spiritual awakening this this week a big or download it could be a spiritual download of some sort um you may be keeping to yourself. You may be doing your own thing. This is a lot of alone time, spending time alone to reflect. I see a, a very reflective energy, thinking a lot about everything that has happened, thinking about the changes, thinking about your new life, thinking about the path that you're going down, definitely breaking free from something and going within. So this is a week of going within and reflecting and observing and I don't know, healing, you may be healing from something, healing from a situation that has, you know, uh, controlled you, you know, like you are breaking free from something and you have become enlightened, you have become awakened because of this situation, you've learned some sort of lesson about yourself and I feel like now you're becoming more self-sufficient. You may be becoming more spiritual. This is a spiritual awakening of some sort. It really is. Life is changing. You're going down a new path. You may be going your own way. You may be choosing to be alone. Maybe you just want to be alone. I see a lot of wanting to be alone here or needing to be alone. I think you're going to be really, really in your feelings. You may feel a little distant. Maybe you want to be a little distant because you're, re you're, you're receiving a download or you're receiving some information or you're receiving some clarity about somebody that, you know, has controlled you and manipulated you and, 
you know, you may have not seen it in the past and you're seeing it now. clarity coming this week. Ah, you definitely, I feel like you're dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles reversed. Now the King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is unstable, insecure, not practical, could be unfaithful, doesn't have anything to offer. This person um, is lazy. They may be conceited. They may be arrogant. Uh, doesn't have any anything to offer you or they may be really focused on money you know very focused on uh, what they can get financially this is somebody that is unstable you got somebody here that is unstable you may be letting go of this person I feel like you're going within whoever you're dealing with is very controlling very manipulative this person um, I feel like this person is ruthless and I feel like you're about to see who this person really is. They're very extremely controlling. You got somebody here that is very materialistic. Extremely materialistic. All they care about is what they can get. It's not about love because of this four of cups. We got somebody here that is more interested in financial gain and what they can get more than more than love. And I think that's going to be disheartening to you. So I do feel like there is uh, a breaking free from something that isn't stable, that isn't secure, that isn't real. It's not real. And I think there's been a lot of delusion and I think that you're going to see something very clearly that it's time for you to remove these chains to break free and go down your own path. So yeah, I think that you are becoming aware. You're highly, highly, highly aware of whatever this choice is that you need to make. Whoever you're dealing with is very controlling and they lack they lack the ability to uh, give you anything solid. You know what I mean? They can't because they're not interested. They're not interested. And I think you're going to become highly aware of that. Good luck.